As we age, the brain, like the rest of our body, becomes more vulnerable. But powerful evidence is emerging that the brain works like a muscle. The more we use it, the stronger it becomes. An active mind helps grow new connections in the brain. And the more connections we create, the more reserves we have to combat the effects of old age. The benefits are not only physical, however. Exercising the mind is key to keeping it sharp. Harry Shapiro, a retired commercial artist, was born in 1899. He has made it to this age with flying colors. No cancer, no heart disease, a sharp mind, and a good sense of humor. I was the first born in my family. My mother had six children. I was one of them. June, July, August, six more months. I'll be 100 years old. Sometimes it feels that way. <laughs> and sometimes I feel I was born yesterday. He likes Chinese food, good pipe tobacco, Bach and Beethoven. In fact, music even inspires his painting. Primitive dance. It's from Beethoven's Seventh Symphony. A, the third movement is a is a dance, a primitive dance. And that's where I got my idea from. I like to feel that there's a musical quality in this. That you can almost I do, I hum as I paint sometimes. It's all over there. Harry is the most recent addition to the New England Centenarian study, which is documenting people who have reached one hundred. I'll just say the numbers and you say them right after me. Dr. Marjorie Silver, who heads up the study, is testing Harry's mental ability. I think the key is that the more you learn, the more you're able to learn. So the people who continue to meet new challenges, to learn new things, are the people whose minds are going to stay very sharp into old age. Are you ready? Two... Five. Two, five. Three, one. I was really six, surprised that he could repeat three, eight digits, one, which is a test six, of attention. There's only one other centenarian that did that, and she had been a bookkeeper. Five, nine, two, eight, four. Well, you did very well. This hundred year old man was doing uh, well above what the average person does at a much younger age. This is similar. This is different. That's right. What was really typical about him was his constant learning. He was constantly thinking of new things. He loved to learn. He describes himself as a little boy, loving to learn things. And that lasted his entire life. And consequently, he, every time he learned something, his brain was building up more ability to learn. It was building new pathways, new connections between the neurons. Therefore, he's built, really built up a functional reserve that really helps keep his mind working very well. I think the reason I've lasted so long on this earth is because of my love of painting and music, music and literature. Things that lift the spirit of man up. The more we learn about the brain, the more awesome it appears.